officially recording. Alrighty, so do we need to do like a quick Ironclad recap? Or Chris, have you watched the Ironclad video we already have uploaded? Uh, no. You sent me it and I was expecting it to be short, and then you sent me it and it was two hours. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, I'll have to watch this when I have some time. Alright, uh, fair enough. Yeah, and then I just didn't because I forgot about it. Um, have you seen any of them or like just not the Ironclad one? I just need to know if I need to give, like, a quick spiel about, like, how I tend to approach the game, or if you've already heard it from another video. Give me a cheeky spiel. Okay, so the cheeky spiel, like, if I need to, if I need to, like, get across 600 hours of practice in about 60 seconds, it would be, um... I'll, like, the vast majority of people that I see play this game tend to approach it from the incorrect mindset and the the mindset tends to be like okay i've identified these archetypes that i like with this character so like ironclad the an example would be i like to get barricade and entrench and i like to make 800 block on ironclad and be invincible or like um silent <laughs> it would be i like to get noxious fumes and five footworks and block for a hundred and let poison tick up or um, like identifying yourselves with these particular style styles as I think the wrong approach. Um, the way that you should be approaching building your deck is rather to consider the problems that you're going to be facing uh, both immediately and in the, the near future. And then um, like, looking at the tools you've been offered as ways to answer those things. And rather than saying like, how do I build this cohesive 25 card lean deck that does something cool, like build a big 40 card deck that has answers to all your problems. So like for ironclad, like, okay, demon form is like the, the, the immediate card that comes to mind is like, Oh, demon form. All of my winning runs are demon form, right? Like demon form is a really, really good card, but what it does is it scales for you. So it's great at killing bosses. But, like, it's terrible in hallway fights, and it's terrible... It doesn't block for you or anything like that. So it's it's one tool within your your arsenal. So, like, the, the jobs that your deck needs to do are... It needs to front-load damage to kill hallway fights. It needs to scale to kill bosses. And it needs to block or mitigate damage in some way. And so Demon Form is, like, only your scaling answer. It's not the other two. So it's a great card to find but you need to be considering those other problems as well as how your current deck lines up with, for example, the elites that you're facing in this act or whoever your act boss is. So we'll be trying to do that sort of okay. thing as we go through here. I definitely have the issue of building a deck that only beats bosses, and then suddenly you get those three black blobs in Act 3, and I have, like, absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, and I think... <laughs> um wail me and then walk out with <laughs> <let's help. laughs> and I, I don't know how much ex ex experience you have with things like Hearthstone or Magic, but I feel I like... was top 100 legend. Okay, exactly. So I think that people who have card game experience get really uh, funneled down this kind of path. Because when you play something like Hearthstone or Magic, you're playing against somebody who's symmetrical with you. They have the same amount of health as you. They could put the same cards in their deck as you and things like that. And there's there's a sort of limited band of threats that you can yeah, face. I also know like, what I'm going to be playing against in advance in, in, in something like Hearthstone, right? So Sam will worry and like Hewn to Priest, that's going to be like one archetype. I know 28 out of 30 cards in his deck. I know exactly what he's going to be playing. Well, right, but you're you're facing against a player who has this sort of like limited selection of tools they can bring against you. And Slay the Spire, mm -hmm. um, like there are bosses who attack you on certain axes, mm -hmm. but like the hallway fights attack you in a completely different way, and the elites attack you in a completely different way, and like the events threaten you in a completely different way. So you can't really build this like mega lean curated smooth deck consistently. Like sometimes runs will turn into that, but a lot more often your deck is just going to be a mess. Like most of my iron card decks are like 35 cards 
and there's nothing real really cohesive going on with them it's just like these eight cards answer bosses and these 10 cards answer hallway fights and these five answer elites and these are just like some speculative cards i thought might have panned out and that's perfectly fine like there's nothing wrong with that you just have to accept that you're not playing a constructed deck builder you're playing a roguelike where you need you don't know what you're going to be like getting to build with ahead of time yeah so let's do it all right let's go Ascension three hiring clouds all right, so step one is to consider our whale options and look at the map before we decide on one. So remove a card from your deck. I am like really not very much a fan of that option. Um, the starter decks are pretty good, and they are pretty well balanced. Like the Ironclad deck is tilted in favor of offense, but we get six HP after every fight. So like yeah. we're basically going to take damage but heal it back up. Uh, mm -hmm. Max HP plus 8 is fucking great. Like, max HP, especially on Ironclad, is very good because we're going to heal that back up a lot. Um, lose all gold to remove two cards. I think that has a lot of the same problems as remove a card, but removing two cards has the advantage. Like, you could move one off, like, you could move a strike and a defend and kind of keep your ratio the same. And then the boss relic one. I don't love on Ironclad because Burning Blood is just so good. Like I, I trade. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trade boss relics on the other three characters all the time, but Ironclad very rarely. Like that, that relic accounts for like fifty plus health on, per act a lot of the time. It's it's incredible. Yeah. So it's almost guaranteed we're going to be taking the max HP plus eight, but let's still at least look at the map real quick. Sure. Um, so the first thing that I always look at for act pathing is what can I get the most elites out of, and then how safe is that path? Like, how many campfires are on it? Um, so there's a three elite act if you go along that left-hand path there. Yeah, three is max, looks like, yeah. Um, so let's see how many campfires we can get along the way. Um, so if you go through that right hand elite you could get one campfire well either one you can get one campfire after it and then one above it so you'd be getting three campfires out of it that way um let's scroll down a little bit go all the way down to the bottom so if you take that second from the left, you can get yourself three hallway fights, a shop, and a question mark, and then our first elite. It would be nice to have a campfire before our first elite to be able to upgrade, but it's not looking super possible to do that. Scroll up a little bit. After. Yeah, so we can like heal up or upgrade afterwards if we want to. So then if we veer off to the left, we get a second campfire... And then we can always bail out of the third elite if we need to. Like this, this path gives us a decent number of options. So I think this is a good yeah. way to go. Um, so the way that um, encounters are pulled, each act, the first three fights you take are pulled from an easier pool of encounters. Um, so it's really good to take exactly three fights before your first elite. If you go up to a fourth, you typically are not going to have a strong enough deck to do that fight super well that early on in the game. Uh, 13 Let's damage see. coming our way. What's that? Can, I'm sorry, you're cutting out. Can you repeat? The three encounters thing, it only takes them from a certain pool. Right, so there's a list of easy encounters that your first three will all be from, and then after that, it goes from a harder set of encounters. Um, so with these, I think I would probably throw a strike on each one to get their curl up off, and then defend. And we'll take eight, and then heal six of it off of Burning Blood, so we'll only be net down two. Could we... Oh, no. That makes sense. Yeah, you're right. The bash doesn't hit for enough. Like yeah, these the guys are both guy. dead to just about anything anyway. Um, so you can you can just kill with three strikes here. Okay. Um, so shrug it off and metallicize are both pretty appealing here. Uh, shrug it off is like just a fucking great block card. Gets us some card draw. 
The downside to it is that it's a skill and that we're probably going to be facing Gremlin Knob in a couple of, like, there, there's a good chance we're facing Gremlin Knob during this act and potentially in just a couple of floors. And he scales every time you play a skill. Um, Metallicize lines up super, super well against Gremlin Knob and um, Lagavulin because with Lagavulin, he sleeps for three turns. We can just pass the turn until we get the Metallicize and it's going to passively block for a lot in that fight. Um, you can actually play it in the Gremlin Knob fight and it doesn't scale him up. And it's just like a good value card. I, I think I like Metallicize here. Okay, yeah, I like that as well. This is a problem I have because there, I saw those options and I don't think there was a world in which I wouldn't have just taken Shrugganoff. Shrugganoff would have been so fine, I think. In vacuum, I think it's a better card. And that's like the only thought process I'm going through. So Metallicize is a very good card, and I wouldn't say that we would make... I don't, I don't even think it would have been a mistake to take it. Like, Shrug It Off is just a super good card. But given the threats that are coming up soon, and potentially coming up soon, and um, the fact that, like... So if we add the Shrug It Off right now, we just have our starter deck's worth of attacks. We don't have any, like, high-value attacks yet. Um, we're basically like diluting our ability to front load damage for Gremlin Knob, and we're, like we're adding in a card that's actively bad against him. So we like Gremlin Knob is one of the biggest threats in this act, and taking that card makes us worse against him. Whereas Metallicize makes us considerably better against Gremlin Knob and Lagavulin both. So because it's like the first card we've seen, I think it tilts it in Metallicize's favor. For this, we're taking Golden Idol. Yes, so this is great. It's it's great because we're going to be getting a lot more gold, like for the entire run. And there's an Act Two event where if you have the Golden Idol, you can trade it in for a better relic, and it's just like super good. Um, honestly, any of these are fine. I would probably take the twenty-two damage. Um, we have a lot of max HP, and we can heal it back up. Yeah, um, so early on, we're not going to yeah. take much damage right away. We can just heal us up probably in the next couple of fights. Yeah, and the Metallicize is going to go a long way for mitigating for us. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think we'll probably just then. triple strike the front one and kill him, take eight. We'll heal six of it back. Let's see, Me Metallicize defend full blocks, and then you can just throw the strike down. And the Metallicize value will be going for the rest of the fight. Let's see. Hmm. Defend, 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 strike seems pretty good, yeah. This guy's not going to like scale up any harder than no. this, so if we can just avoid taking any more damage, we're set. Yeah, you could have just killed, but it's fine. Oh, fuck. This game. It's fine, just draw double strike. Mm, yeah, they are. <laughs> Flex Potion's going to be really good against whatever the first elite we face is. Um. Okay, so... I don't really like Havoc. The only times that Havoc is good is if you have a... Um, if you have a headbutt... You could headbutt like a demon form onto the top of your deck and then play Havoc, but that takes a lot of setting up, and it's just not something that's good. It's especially not good for us now. We're not. There's nothing like good. We're Havocing. Warcry is a fucking terrible card. It's just yeah, yeah. it's worthless. Fire breathing would be nice if we were for sure playing um, against like if we knew our first uh, elite was going to be the Tri Sentinels. I forget who our act boss is. Is it Slime Boss? Uh, no. Okay, if it had been Slime Boss, I think I would have taken Fire Breathing because he puts the, the slimes in. But... Uh, I do like Fire Breathing in case we get... Um, yeah, like you said, the Tri Sentinels. It's awful. But on like it's a dead card against the other two elites is the thing. And like So on higher ascensions, you have a curse automatically in your deck called Ascender's Bane, so you're at least getting that out of it. But, um, like, we don't currently have anything that's fueling fire breathing in so many fights, so it's like a dead draw. Like, we're if we take that, we're basically putting a curse in our deck for, like, 90% of our fights right now. So I think, honestly, you can just skip pretty safely here. None of these really do a lot for us. Okay. 
Uh, Whirlwind on sale is really nice. Whirlwind is a great mm. card. Um, that's like it scales super well off of strength. It helps solve any AOE problems we have quite well, and it's going to be really yeah. good against uh, Tri Sentinels. So I definitely think we're buying Whirlwind, and I actually would buy the Wild Strike as well. That's a absolutely fantastic Act One card. That's twelve damage for 12 one, damage. and um. Like giving yourself a wound is not the end of the world. Like you know, if we get offered another fire breathing, then we can take it now. Um, mm -hmm. Like go for this thing. Yes, definitely. The okay, like we we're so definitely sick. lacking those those good punchy front loaded damage cards for this elite fight coming up. So we're pretty happy to take wild strike. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, let's see. No, no. Wild Strike is better damage for that energy. So Wild Strike first, and then actually you're going to strike because it's six per energy. We want to get Whirlwind upgraded as soon as possible so that it's eight per energy spent. Uh, let's see. If you just bash, probably bash, defend. Let's see. So that'll put him to 17. What's in our draw pile? So we draw, we draw lethal next turn. So yeah, bash, bash, defend. So we'll take one, but we'll heal six. So we'll be yeah, net plus two, five. We'll nine each. Yes. Weak potion's good too. Um, so sword boomerang is like a is a decent front loaded damage card. I don't love it, but if we get some strength scaling, it becomes very strong. Uh, Burning pact is all right. It's some card draw. We're not mega interested in card draw just yet, but it might be good later on. Intimidate is okay. It's it's just yeah it's, that's really all it is is okay. Um, I would probably take the sword boomerang just tilt our deck a little more in the direction of decent front loaded damage cards because we're about to face an act one elite. Okay. And what it scales. Do when it's uh, I think it's oh, two yeah. it's two turns of week instead of one. A uh, intimidate yes yeah. All right, so with Lagavul in here, we're yeah, yeah, okay. So we're just playing the Metallicize. We were basically just waiting until the Metallicize came into play, so we could play it for free. Now I would just pass the turn and have a, a full turn's worth of energy to wake him up with. So um, Bash Strike seems definitely the way to go. Okay. And then next turn we'll probably oh we know it. And then yes. the next turn I think we'll use the uh, Flex Potion since he's weak yeah Just yeah yeah like definitely <laughs> definitely flex potion so wild strike sword boomerang strike is gonna do a lot of damage very nice very, very nice um let's see so we can get 15 damage um I think probably defend strike strike. What's in the draw pile? Yeah. If we What's defend strike strike? strike, so we need to draw one other damage source next turn. And yeah. actually, we don't have to draw it next turn because he's debuffing us next turn. He does attack attack debuff and repeats that pattern. So we have two turns to draw, like any damage source. All right, so he's gonna debuff our strength by one here so we just need to draw any two damage cards and we're fine or yeah wild strike is fine that'll do oh singing bowl is very very Ooh, nice that's a great okay. relic especially to get early on in the game where we can be using it a lot um <laughs> so if we knew where we were going with entrench that could be pretty good like if we were going to be trying to go into the deck that like entrenches and blocks for a lot and then body slams it's pretty good, but it's kind of hard to take without having some of the other pieces in place already. I think a second metallicize is really good. Like yeah. getting getting yourself six passive block every turn is great. Yeah, I love metallicize. It's a very very strong card. I mean, uh, we have... check. When's the next elite stuff? We've got another we campfire elite before we. Yeah, we're, we've got another campfire before we get to the next elite, and we've got forty four yeah. HP, and we'll be healing off of fights, so we're yes. we're doing fine. I think upgrading the whirlwind is probably the way to go. Um, there's there's a fifty percent chance, there's a fifty fifty chance that our next elite is Tri Sentinels because it, it can't be Lagavulin, so it's one or the mm -hmm. other, and, and a whirlwind upgrade is fine against either one, but it's really really good against Tri Sentinels. 
There are only three elites, right? Yes, three elites per act. Uh, when's our next shop? Uh, we could go to that one. We could, yeah, we could go with that. We one. miss out on an elite if we do that, though, which I don't really like. Mm. Next shop's not to act too. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we've got the golden idol, so we'll have a lot of money by the time we see our next shop. So I think you can disagree here. Yeah, I don't like that. Curse. That's a it's a pretty nasty curse. <laughs> Self forming clay, man, that is a Ooh. we've got fucking great relics so far. That is an absolutely fantastic relic. I don't think I've had this before. Can you lose HP in three block? That's yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's really 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 good. It blocks for so so much. Um, so I think we want to kill the we want to kill the thief in the back because he's gonna run away with our gold and um, the the little like worm thing doesn't really scale itself up either. Mm -hmm. So wild, defend defend wild strike. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll take one. Yeah. How many turns is it to run away? Is it five? Um, four. I th five. I think it depends. Like, I don't think it's set on the exact number of turns. I might be wrong on that. Like, they'll they'll defend and then run away the turn after that. So, I am uh, I'm not actually 100 percent sure on that. Let's see. So you could let's see if you whirlwinded. You would take a you would take eight, or you could metallicize whirlwind and take five. I kind of like that. That'll get the the curl up off of the the worm. Taking five isn't so bad. Yeah. So if you hit the little spiky thing multiple times, does the damage go through before the pot's applied? Yeah, it'll apply it at the end of your whirlwind. Um, so we could See. we have to strike twice to kill the mite, unfortunately. Mm. It's a lot of damage coming in as well. Yeah, we can block for nine with the second metallicize. So we could metallicize, double strike the one in front, and we'll take five. Which is um a bit unfortunate, but I don't think we can do much better. Cool for that. We don't have lethal on the thief, so I think that's going to mitigate yeah. the most damage on us. Yeah, Metallus has Strike Strike. Okay, we need to deal some damage to him. Yeah, and being uh, being weakened like this makes the Sword Boomerang pretty weak, unfortunately, because the, the debuff on the damage applies to each hit. Yeah, he might... Oh no, he's not getting away. Um, so no, he's fine. It's 12. Yeah, it's you can just triple yeah. strike. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried he was getting away with that. <laughs> um, so armaments is a solid block card. Yeah, getting the upgrade on the getting the upgrade on the metallicizes would be nice. Um, anger is not bad either. It's just like a good way to get more damage off, especially on a turn where we're trying to play the bash. Bloodletting, I'm not too big a fan of. And, I mean, 2 max HP is not bad either. I think it's probably a toss-up between those three options. I would probably take the Armaments, I would have to say. Armaments yeah, is I'm nice. Leaning towards the, I'm leaning towards that as well. Yeah, it's like especially if you can upgrade the Metallicizes, it's very strong. Okay, so Do we, we, so we don't get a campfire in between them, so... No... But we can bail out of it if we need to. But I really want to take both elites, so I'd probably rest. All right, here's our boy, the knob. Okay. <laughs> um, I think bash wild strike, and then Hopefully. we can uh, we can probably use the uh, we can use the weak potion on him here. Uh, metallicized whirlwind seems good. So the problem with playing the armaments here is that he yes. will gain some strength off of it, but we also are gaining an extra block per turn off the metallicize, so it 
is like a net gain of health. Like we're blocking the five from the armaments plus one extra on the metallicize. So the fact that this fight will end soon, we're actually saving more health by playing the armaments metallicize than uh, than we're losing by scaling him. Which is super easy to strike you. Yeah. You've only got one strike in your hand. Right? right, exactly. If we'd had more attacks, then I oh, yeah. might have favored that. But uh, we, yeah, like the this double metallicize here is actually blocking for quite a bit here. All right, that went really nicely. Nice. Ooh. Letter opener is pretty strong. I like that. Um, so I'm almost certain we're taking the battle trance here. That's just really, really nice card draw. And Iron Wave, I think we're we're not really interested. Like Iron Wave is an okay card to take in the first couple of floors because it's it's good against Gremlin Knob. But we're kind of past that now. We're looking more into our like Act Two options. So the things we want for Act 2 are some AoE, which we kind of have with our Whirlwind. Like, if we could get another Whirlwind, even, I would be even more happy. Um, and then we're also looking for some better mitigation and scaling. And so we don't have the scaling yet. We're definitely looking for better mitigation. We do have the Metallicizes, which are pretty strong. And we have the Self-Forming Clay, which is very strong as well. So we're getting there. But the Battle Trance to, like, card draw us into those Metallicizes faster is just really, really strong. So I think yeah. that's what we want. Thank you, right? Oh, battle trance first. Yeah. Oh no! Oh yeah, of course. Uh, Metallicize, wild strike, sword boomerang. And I would go for the one in the back because it's going to scale. Well, it's too late now, oh. but it's, it's fine. It doesn't make a huge yeah. difference. The one in the back is buffing itself, so it's it'd be probably a little bit better to take it out first because it's going to be hitting harder. Um, okay, so if you kill the one in front, it's going to put vulnerable on you, so the one in back is going to start hitting for 15 instead of 10, but we've got 16 coming at us now, so it's still like a net improvement, so strike the one in front, and then metallicize, uh, metallicize and... Just defend? Yeah, that seems fine. Then we just take one. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Um, let's see, probably, uh, Bash, yes, that yeah. does kill. Yes. Very good. <laughs> well, I'm, okay, so a third metal size is solid, and Clothesline to put Weak down is quite solid as well. Um, I'd probably take the metal size. Clothesline is a little better, it's, it's more of an Act 1 card than metallicize is um it's really really good to put weak onto gremlin knob and lagavulin but we're not we've only got one more of those and i think we're strong enough to take them on quite well so okay, the, the... so when does having too much of a thing start to happen then um because it's I, i'm always wary of like trying to take too many of one thing it definitely is dependent on the size of your deck like the the only situation in which too many metallicizes is a thing is when we have enough that it's potentially causing us to draw a hand of like if we draw a hand that's like three metallicizes and two strikes but we really wanted to or like let's say we wanted to deal damage but we drew three metallicizes and a block and a block like that's hmm. not really what we're after so like a decent ratio of powers to other cards is about like one to five because then generally speaking you're probably drawing about one per turn on your your um your first pass through the deck. So we've got 17 cards. This will be our third power. So we're still like doing all right on that ratio. We're not really that worried about um, running out of, or like over diluting our hands that much. Um, and like metallicize is just an effect that you're never going to be sad to have. So I don't think, I don't think I would ever be like, you know, if I had a 40 card deck and I had six metallicizes and I got offered a seventh, I wouldn't be like, well, I just don't need, I don't need more block. Like you, you always want to block. So I don't think there's ever a point where you're just like, I just don't need more of these. You're just worried about how many powers do I have? Because powers, generally speaking, don't do anything the turn you play them, but they're incredibly good on all future turns because they just have a permanent effect for the rest of the fight. So they're very efficient. They just don't do anything the turn you draw them. So you want to make it so that your your hand is capable of answering 
this turn while also still deploying the powers as they are needed. Um, I'm thinking armaments, oil strike, one in the back, Roland. So that's I mean, not uh, bad. It's probably just whirlwind. I I I think I would probably also whirlwind as well. Um, we're wanting to damage race one of the outer ones down as fast as possible, and the armaments wild strike whirlwind plan. Um, it's just twin you know, whirlwind. so the yeah, maybe you're right it in. it does the same amount of damage to one, but the whirlwind, like the just whirlwind, does more damage to everyone. The armaments mm -hmm. one does upgrade world uh, the wild strike for future passes through and slightly reduces the damage we take this turn um i think it's kind of a toss-up between the two but i would i think i would probably just play the whirlwind like taking 10 instead of five but doing 24 to everything is too much of a upside yeah, and I mean we're about yeah. we're about to we'll get some block off self forming clay because of it, and we've got three metallicizes in the deck. So like if you know if we have all of those metallicizes in play, we literally can't take damage anymore once we kill one of the outer ones. So Let's go for I this think thing. I think this is fine. Yeah, the chances yes. that we have lethal on one of the outer ones next turn is quite high with this play. Especially these daisies come in, we kind of want them. When there's battle trance. Yeah, definitely there. battle trance first. See what we draw. Um, let's see. I think you want to triple strike one of the outer ones to make sure that uh, yeah. they actually we'll die, to... and we'll take seven. But we'll get we'll get another three block we'll next turn. Oh, it's. I, I mean, I, I, I it would have been better to go for it would have been better to go for the sixteen health one, but it wasn't like hugely they impactful. Die to the same ranges. Right. Right. Like that strike doesn't kill it, and double whirlwind still does. I would double metallicize and defend, and then you're just like basically invincible for the rest of the fight. Um, so if you strike the one in the back, you have a decent chance of drawing lethal on it next turn on the turn that it's attacking you, which is as good as blocking. So I would go for the one on the right there, yeah. Uh, so Wild Strike kills the one in the back, and then the Metallicize makes us stop taking damage. And then yeah. at this point it doesn't really matter much. Would you not bash there? So you don't need Triple Strike to kill it this turn? The, the problem with the bash the is the is the, they, have, they have Artifact on, so the Vulnerable wouldn't you be applied. But you're not doing it for that. You're putting it so it's in a range of dying to two strikes, in case we don't draw it like, the, like we just did, right? Uh, yeah, that would have been fine, too. Taking, you weren't taking damage that turn anyway. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think that would have been better, yeah. thinking back on it. Um, you can just armaments, and uh, it won't be lethal, but it puts him at one, and we're full blocking anyway. Nice. Oh, prayer wheel. We're getting Ooh. ridiculous relics. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, okay, so these are all very good front-loaded damage type cards. Um, we are kind of good on that front now as it is. Let's look at our deck real quick. So as far as good front-loaded damage cards, we've got Whirlwind, we've got Wild Strike. Um, Sword Boomerang is okay. I think it wouldn't be bad to take one more, but I probably don't wouldn't want to take any more after that. Or we could just take the max HP. I think either... like. Um, Hemokinesis is definitely the best of these three cards. It's uh, like 14 damage for one is just so strong. And the, the health loss is not really that relevant when you're getting that much damage out of one energy. So I think taking Hemokinesis is fine. It gives us like, it really gives us all of our front loaded damage that we need. Um, but just taking the max HP is pretty fine too. Like we have some good front loaded damage cards and we can start to like we could just say we're good on that front and start to look for our scaling and our mitigation as well. I'd be yeah. fine with either. Okay, let's go for HP. That's fine. I think I'm leaning towards that. Alright, 
Smith. We can upgrade here. 55 is more than enough for this boss. Um, okay, so a Metallicize upgrade is pretty solid. Um, Battle Trance upgrade is pretty solid. And the Bash upgrade to get Vulnerable on for longer is pretty solid as well. They're, they're all good choices. Um, I kind of like one of the Metallicizes just because that's yeah. kind of what our deck is doing right now is basically just trying to get those in play and stop taking damage and that makes us better on that front okay let's go for this then sure we're going to be seeing a lot of card rewards next act because of the um the prayer wheel uh you might as well go ahead and play the battle trance there's no reason not to um, let's see, let's, yeah, let's get both of the metallicizes in play. We just want to have all of those going. And now, Wild Strike. Is there a world there where you want on the second metallicize? Because... Uh, that would have been alright. Right, because... That would have been fine. The The reason that I went with the Wild Strike plan is this guy does hit, like, decently hard. But if you can get him past his little HP threshold, you um, you can keep him from doing the attack. Unfortunately, we, because of the block, we're not actually going to be able to. So we are going to get hit here for quite a bit, which is uh, a little unfortunate. I was hoping we would draw something better. But yeah, just Sword Boomerang, Strike, Strike, and we're going to get a full heal after the act anyway, so we'll be fine. Aim, Talisite, Yeah. Not really much else to do. No, that does it. Uh, let's see what we get off the battle trance. So, uh, if you defend and then whirlwind, you only take the thorns damage once. Um, like, off the or no no, I'm thinking of sword boomerang, aren't I? Uh, I think you actually do take the thorns damage off. You, All three yeah, hits of Whirlwind. You would, take it, you would take it twice, so it goes 60. Yeah, so if you defend first, that blocks almost all of it, and then... Um, whirlwind? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then the yeah. power slice gives you the armor to block. It blocks for the, his actual attack, yeah. 16. Uh, I, I like the armaments on the bash, and then play the bash. We'll take some damage, but it's going to get three turns of vulnerable down on him, which is going to make getting him back into his shelled form this second time quite a bit easier. Mm -hmm. um, Gosh, let's yeah. see. So, so we don't have enough to get him into it this turn, so probably defend, strike, strike. Yeah. And then we almost full block because of the metallicizes. Um, armaments onto the wild strike is actually pretty solid here just because we're probably going to be playing at least one or two more wild strikes throughout this fight probably uh, I guess... before and got more damage from him I think uh oh exactly so oh was it damage. yeah that oh. that would have been a little better sequencing as well take that Uh, oh, you just, uh, defend whirlwind. whirlwind again, right? Yeah, defend whirlwind oh, is the yeah, the best yeah. thing to do. I keep forgetting he's got the flowers. Armaments onto the sword boomerang, I think. So I, I always have a hard time remembering which attacks trigger thorns every time because like sword boomerang, even though it hits four times, only triggers the thorns once. But then the whirlwind hits you every time, so it's weird. I'd probably just defend. Okay, I guess it's a full block. Let's get the battle trance going. So we can't do the full fifty. We will block for ten of it, no matter what. So, if we take all of this damage, we'd go to 14. 
Um, we'd go to 19 if we play the defend. Yeah. The thing, though, is the wild strike hits for so much. That would have been... Oh, I was going to say bash wild strike and it was taking the damage is pretty pretty all right just because it hits so hard. I think you need to bash to get the vulnerable down. Uh, sword boomerang's pretty nice. It's gonna hit for a lot, and then armaments no, to upgrade the strike. Sword. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're whirlwind's fine. nice to see here for sure. Uh, definitely. Whirlwind. Yeah, just just whirlwind. That's your best. Next form, right? This thirty-six. Yeah. So, um, so we're going to need to armaments, I think, so that we don't take too much from the... Or that'll block the thorns damage. So armaments first, and then sword boomerang wild strike. It's worth taking the one to get him yeah. to be really close to dead here. Um, let's see. Bash strike is lethal. Here we go. Nice. Snick oil. Ooh. <laughs> uh, it's pretty hard to say no to demon form because we don't really have any sources of scaling yet. Um, feed is really good as well, but going into Act 2, there's going to be some stuff we really want that scaling for. And demon form plus whirlwind is like a game-winning type combo. So okay. I, I don't think we need to overthink it. Just take the demon form. I love demon form. It's pretty strong. Um, okay, so all of these have some pretty significant downsides. The fusion hammer, like not being able to upgrade that demon form is going to hurt us an awful lot. So I'm shying away from that one a little bit. Not being able to get any more gold is kind of a non-bow with the golden idol. So mm -hmm. I don't love that. Not being able to play more than six cards per turn is probably fine. Like, we have a pretty expensive deck. We have the Demon Form. We have the Bash. Like, a lot of times we're just playing the Whirlwind as a lot of our energy. So I think the Choker is probably the best one to go with here. We'd have to develop in kind of a weird direction to be playing more than six cards per turn. It's definitely possible. Like, especially if we got a Corruption or something, we would be regretting our choice. But I think losing out on the Gold and not being able to upgrade are both too big of downsides to not just take the Choker here. Okay, choker it is. We would need to pivot pretty fucking hard for choker to be bad. So we said literally that exact same thing in the Ironclad run that's on YouTube already. And right. by the end of the run, like we literally had like Demon Form, Bash, uh, like like we had like four or five different two cost cards. Like our deck was so expensive and we were like, yeah, we'll never be playing more than six cards per turn. And by the end of the run, we were like, we should not have taken this Velvet Choker. <laughs> <laughs> so it does happen. Um, let me take a quick restroom break and then we'll get back to it, okay? Yeah, sure thing. All right, what I'm getting from this is so far, I can count quickly. But I always knew I could do arithmetic, so... <laughs> I was like messed up on the uh, stupid stuff like uh like the thorns and stuff like oh I can do uh I can hit him like three times then I do it and, like oh shit I just took nine damage <laughs> like fuck yeah I I am also sitting in a position of power because you're the one who's having to play I'm just sort of <laughs> sitting here and you know I'm able to speculate from the safety of my own chair. It's wonderful. Spe speculate and judge. Exactly. I, I mean, I, I would play like incredibly slower if it was actually me playing. I, I, I wouldn't just be able to just be like, yeah, this, 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 <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I think we can only get two elite. Uh, uh, yeah, only two elite smacks. Yep, only two. It kind of sucks. Over there. I'm liking this middle path. Hmm. Actually, maybe. 
I like, I like the stuff at the end where you don't get any hallway fights. <laughs> Just question marks, yeah. campfires, shops. After this elite. I never know but how then you have many... to go through this dude. So you don't like. I don't know how many like good amount of question marks it is good to take. Uh, the... At some point, there's a relic. They take, like you do want some cards in your deck, right? Yeah, there's a relic that gives you. Alrighty. Every fourth question mark, which is. Sick. Oh yeah. So oh, the the tiny chest. Yeah, I was just looking at all these question marks like near the end on this path. <laughs> so what are you thinking on yeah. paths here? Uh, well, we, most of these we can get is two. Okay, okay. so the if left, the left path seems good, but you know, you've got this flaming elite here. Yeah, I w we can it, most yeah. likely take on a flaming elite. Like we have a decently strong deck here. So after this elite, there's potentially a chance we can just go straight to the boss without any fights. Okay. Um, so we do have a lot of gold, so hitting that shop on the left immediately is pretty nice. Um, mm -hmm. Or we could go do that one that's like in the middle. We can hit two hallway fights and then a shop. Then there's an elite. Uh, so there's two elites. There's not a campfire in between, which I don't no. love quite as much. But we won't have gone through a lot of fights at that point. And then the there's right several. Campfire after the... But just the one elite, right? Oh no, there's a second yeah. one. Yes, yeah, everyone way up here. Uh, there's not a shop on that path though, is there? No, it's just on the left. Yeah. Okay. So I like um, starting in the middle. So to go fight, question, fight, question, shop. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. Cool. No, I'll just do. It. Um, there's this not is a the only guy that I find really good to have judgment card for. Oh god, he's so good for that. Oh man, <laughs> judgment just like hard counters this guy. This is um, where you take Melter on defect, and then you feel good about it. Oh yeah. This is literally the only fight in the game that Melter is good on, but it's very good on this yeah, one. Exactly. Like, Take it and then you hit this guy and you're like, yes, I knew this was a good card. <laughs> and then you cry the other 50 times you draw it. I think just Wild Strike, Strike Strike. Yeah, I was there's there's not a ton of point in bashing so. because he's got three artifact on. Um, yeah, oh, that seems right. Four minutes. Okay. Hey. Well, Demon Form Ooh. Metallicize Plus is pretty strong. Yeah. We'll take uh, we'll take seven, but we'll heal six back. Yeah, and getting the so. demon form in play is too good. That is a lot of damage. You motherfucker. Oh, there's a metallicize. So oh, armaments oh, okay. to upgrade the metallicize and then play the defend, I think. We're just like trying to block until the demon form lets us destroy this guy. Yeah. Um so defend and then so the defend again gets us to twenty block and then Let room there. Yeah. Defend again gets us to 20 blocks, so we'll take two. I think that's okay. Okay, so we full blocking. We can just rubber wounds, I guess. Uh, how much is the sword boomerang Ooh. hitting for? So 16 off wild strike, so... and then 21. So yeah, wild strike, sword so... boomerang, whirlwind. Because those are both better, like, damage per energy. Very nice. That's so good. <laughs> Oh, I like Cleave. Yeah, Cleave Maybe is another all... AoE answer, especially the fact that it's upgraded yeah. is quite nice. So having a second, like this card. that card is not very good. It's yeah, that, just that card is noob bait, right? Because if, if it's a card that tells you that having all of these strikes in your deck is definitely a good idea. <laughs> so perfected strike is, um, it's it's okay. Like it's not gonna lose you your run. The thing about it is what it's good at is the first like half of Act 1 when what you're looking for is damage sources to kill Act 1 elites. And it is like pretty good at that. But the thing that you are looking for out of your front-loaded damage Act 1 cards is to get that job done and then to be inoffensive later in the run. So if you look at something... Like, that's why Hemokinesis is so good, is even though you take the damage when you play it, it's just so much damage that you only have to take, like, that and one other damage card, and you're set. So your front-loaded, like, bloat damage cards aren't going to be a huge problem later down the line. Or something like, um, 
something like the the bash is nice because it's it's front loaded damage but it comes with putting we like a uh, vulnerable on so it's still doing something valuable for you even late in the run perfected strike it's like literally just damage so it's not like massively better than those other cards at dealing damage and it also it asks you to take a lot of cards that say strike so it's bloating your deck and it also doesn't give you anything but that damage so it's just not like it scales very badly into the late game so you're not really that happy about taking it uh cleave though i think yeah a second aoe source is nice especially because it's yeah. upgraded in act two there's just a lot of fights that really like um Ooh. hello i don't think we actually need that we're pretty that good so on our damage <laughs> it is a lot of damage though but like right now we want to just play demon form and our metallicizes and then play like sword boomerang for a billion damage yeah. um combust would be okay as well but um i think the max hp is pretty good as well i don't i'm not like super in love with combust i think it would just do some cool stuff for us okay i think the max hp is fine yeah i don't think it's needed to play even more with that deck, right oh the bloody idol yeah bloody idol this is why we took the, oh, this is a big part of why we took the golden idol was to be able to get the bloody idol like that's just really really good sustain we're gonna be healing I don't think I've had this. yeah yeah yeah. this like that's <laughs> so it's good. that's insanely strong i guess that's why you take oh, the shit. golden idol I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to go here uh There's it's fine fight. um so losing these are both really good relics we'd be having to give up but tripling the chance to find rare rewards is cool oh, that's really strong i think if we had to lose one i'd probably lose the singing bowl like i do like the singing bowl but self-forming clay just blocks for so much i guess it kind of depends like how much do we think we're getting our reaper at some point because if we can like keeping a singing bowl and getting very high max hp plus a demon form means that like a big part of our mitigation strategy can just be wait for demon form to make reaper do 60 damage and it's like okay who cares if we block like i'll take 80 this fight and then i'll heal it all back at the end kind of thing yeah. so i don't know i would probably offer up the singing bowl the self-forming clay is just like well okay we do have we are getting two card rewards though so that's a lot of max HP. Oh, God, gosh, really this is hard. You honestly could even just not offer up either one of those. Those are just very good relics. I don't know, man. Mm. The thing about self-forming clay is like, there's a lot of like the elites in this act. Self-forming clay is really good against like, you know, if we take, if we get hit four times by book of stabbing, that's blocking for 12 for us next turn. Maybe we just leave it. Oh, my deck is. We do only have one, one rare. The fact that we have yeah. prayer wheel tripling our chance to see rares is really good, though. So I don't know. Let's give up the self forming clay. We do have a lot of metallicizes to block for us. Let's keep the singing bowl and try and like get a lot of max HP because we're going to be taking fewer card rewards as the run goes on. And we're going to be taking more and more of the increase on max HP. So we could definitely be getting to a point where we've got like 150 health. Uh, so this is a really nice place to have Whirlwind. Play the Metallicize first. No, 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 Metallicize first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This card just like absolutely butt wrecks this, uh, this encounter. <laughs> Metallicize, yeah. And then just Whirlwind for the other three. Well, GG. <laughs> Uh, well. <laughs> now if we can just draw the cleave then we're set uh let's battle trance give us the cleave damn it oh, no. i don't even think you bother with the demon form just no um just wild strike this dude yeah and then strike, strike him to finish strike. him off oh they're all doing three. Oh, you're gonna f probably if you were guaranteed to draw cleave next yeah. time could you have not struck them all and then defended because they're still on the ground next turn. Yeah, that would be fine too. Um if you play the metallicize you full block, so probably a metallicize yeah. strike the one with fifteen. 
the chances are pretty good that we draw cleave here. Unfortunately, we didn't, so <laughs> I guess just metallicize strike. My any preference? Probably one with thirteen. If we redraw our whirlwind, then having them on lower health means it's full lethal. Well, I'll play the cleave. Oh, yeah, it's dead. The one on the back isn't dead. But well, I could have upgraded that first, but that's yeah, fine. It's not doing anything. Okay. Um. Okay, so... I'm not super happy about any of these. We're kind of set on these kind of cards, and more max HP is nice. Twin Strike is good with Demon Form, but we already have the Sword Boomerang that's like a ridiculously good scaling card with Demon Form. And we have Whirlwind as well. I'd probably take the max HP. Yeah, that's good shit. Twin Strike is just like a win more card, right? Um, yes and no. Like, the fact not that like our... Situation. Yeah, like... It's it's not particularly strong for us, but it does. There's there's definitely situations where it significantly reduces the clock against a boss, and like our block cards are not amazing. We have the metallicizes and we have a lot of health, but there's definitely some situations where cutting the clock down helps us out quite a bit. Right. Um, Let's go for the max HP. The entrench is somewhat appealing. The problem is like a lot of our block is coming from metallicizes, which happen after the entrench goes off. So, yeah, I think probably the max HP. Sounds good. Let's hit that shop. Uh, yeah, 350 gold. Uh, feed is pretty strong. Um, so the bird-faced urn is very, very good. Um, we might just kind of be okay on healing, though. The Dolly's Mirror is pretty strong. We could... Um, get ourselves like even Demon another <laughs> metallicize we get another copy of demon form i don't know if we need another copy of demon form i think i did that once when i had snake away in demon form it was, it was just, it was so you could buy the feed <laughs> and then take the mirror and get yourself a second copy of feed as well but that's that doesn't really do anything in fights where there's only one enemy but for the multiple enemy fights um that's gonna let us increase our health by quite a bit um, let's look at our deck. What else mm. would we copy other than the demon form? Another whirlwind would be really, really good, actually. Yeah, I like. I like. That. I like. That. So I would Take buy the whirlwind. feed, and I would buy the dolly's mirror, and copy the whirlwind. Okay, that sounds good. That seems good. Okay. Proceed and go to elite. Yes. Yes. All right. Two upgraded whirlwinds is going to be very nice for this fight. Um, let's see. Armaments, I think, because we want to upgrade. I think the sword boomerang. Yeah, let's do that first. Let's see what the sword boomerang does. Just go ahead and play it. Mm. That's too bad. Uh, cleave yeah. and then strike the uh, the one that's attacking us for seventeen, just to uh, get him out of there. The way this fight that's works what... is um, yeah. if there's if oh. you if there's one or zero gremlins, the leader is quite a bit more likely to summon gremlins instead of attack you. So um, she she hits for like way 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 too much damage. So you don't want to give her turns where you have where she has two or more gremlins if you can avoid it. I think yeah, metallicizes whirlwind. Yeah. Uh, actually, well, you could have wild struck the leader and then whirlwind, and it still would have killed the little gremlin. That probably that would have been a little more damage, uh, but it also would have given us a wound. So you know, it's it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. Metallicize yeah, whirlwind again. I think. Sometimes the two gremlins come along that we can't kill now. Yes. Well, we do have a battle trance, so we might draw another whirlwind. Yeah, a bit too. Okay, so um, I do want to point out, feed does not work on minion enemies. So um, oh, you, if you you have to feed on the leader specifically for it to give you the health. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, cleave is hitting for eleven, correct? So. Yeah. We do really want to play that demon form. 
You just take eight if you play demons one kill, right? Like it's it's like not so much the eight we're taking now as the fact that because both gremlins are alive, the leader is going to attack us next turn. Uh, right. um, you could play the Sneko potion and get that demon form to be cheaper if you're gonna if you do that. So play the cleave first while it costs one. Now play the Sneko potion. Ooh. Get the demon form for one. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, so now you can bash to kill uh, the one that's attacking for 10. Yeah, there you go. And then and the metallicize. metallicize. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good Sneko potion. <laughs> can, uh, Sneko potion can't go above 3, right? Right, it's zero t between 0 and 3. So that's whirlwind? 40. Yeah, def yeah definitely yeah. whirlwind. Yeah. Do we still have the other one in our draw pool? Uh, yeah, I believe so, yes. There it is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Magic Flower 2? Oh, God. Well, so we, we would need to get, like, a Reaper for that to work. Oh, my God. Well, the uh, increased chance to see rare cards is coming into play nicely here. Oh, God. So... Is there any way we're not taking corruption here? Let's look at our deck. Um, we don't actually have very many skills, is the thing. Yeah, we've got. The, our it's blocks, it's the blocks, so the battle two. trance, and the armaments. That's literally it. Um, yeah. We might actually just pass on the corruption here. It just doesn't do very much for us. We could take the impervious. That's a very good block. I think you got to take the impervious here. It, it, yeah, I'm literally crying on passing a corruption ever, <laughs> but it's just not good in this deck. Yeah, I, I say we take this. I, I, I normally don't pass on that if I can. A corruption, yeah, I think, is like very strong contender for the best card in the game, so I have a hard time passing it. But uh, I think impervious I think whirlwind yep. here. See what we get off Battle Trance first. Um, armaments because to upgrade the demon form. form. Armaments to upgrade yeah. it first and then play it. We'll take some damage, but we got lots of ways of healing in this deck. Just a, just a little bit. <laughs> See, definitely get both the metallicizes down and then the, I guess, cleave strike. And we want to we want to be feeding on this if at all possible. The metallicizes are going to go a long way towards that. So let's get the metallicize down, then bash wild strike. So his thirteen of vulnerability. So feed kills now, right? Uh, yes, it will. Oh. Mm. Oh, let's no, see what we get off the battle first. trance. No feed, unfortunately. Oh, we have no way to block. I don't think it's worth taking 24 to feed, so just well, kill. You take 14, but that's still a fucking lot. That's, right? That is still a yeah, lot. I would just kill him. Yeah, I think just kill. We do have 96 max HP. Like, we're not so desperate to get a little more. He's <laughs> healed for 14. <laughs> uh, pretty hard to not take a Shrug It Off, because our, our yeah. block cards need to get better, and Shrug It Off is very good at that. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth that's taking. Spins. Limit break? Are you kidding me, dude? Yeah, yeah. Click that, and we're gonna want to upgrade that. Um, so we take the elite, and then we upgrade it at the first campfire we get to. This uh, this deck is going places. Yeah. Um, metallicize. Um, I think I think just bash sword boomerang. Yeah. Actually, cleave does more, right? So Boomerang does 12 and Cleave that does 15 or 16 or something? Uh, oh yeah, because the damage rounds down. So yeah, it would have been would have been better with Cleave. Um, let's shrug it off to see what we draw. Uh, I think Armaments, the Metallicize, and then play the Metallicize. And then uh, just Whirlwind with the last little bit here. That gets us a full block, which is nice. Nice. Can't play the limit break yet because we don't actually have any strength, but metallicize is good. And then the impervious. Yeah. Yeah, and then just strike. 
Feed would be nice to see later. Um, mm -hmm. let's see, Wild Strike, triple defend, doesn't quite full block. We take two. But yeah, three defends and Wild Strike. Doing it anyway. yeah. I was going to say, you still do it because the only other thing you do is just like throw a feed to his face. Which we don't want to do. <laughs> There's a demon form finally. Now that we've got 35 coming in. Oof. That's a pretty big oof indeed. Oof. I think you need to play the demon form. The weak potion, though, I think is worth using here. We've been not very quick about this fight, and it's going to scale out of control fast. We need the demon form to catch up. Uh, and then the wild strike. Unless we get real lucky, we're probably not feeding here either, because we just need to end this as soon as possible. Um, armaments the up break. armaments the limit break definitely yeah, and then and double defend. defend. They already coming in. Uh, whirlwind. whirlwind for fifty six is still not enough. I think you need to defend defend cleave whirlwind. I guess we take fourteen. Good thing we have all this healing. This fight's not going very well. Hmm. Uh, we do have lethal we can't we could block we would take eight if we just played the defend what's in the draw pile not feed no um risk it i mean we'll we'll be able to kill it next turn we could take the eight and for the chance at feeding, but we've already taken so much. I don't know if that's a good idea. It's we we don't so have any more. Elite, it, we're already at we don't have any more elites. This this act though is the thing. We're gonna see that's two true. campfires. There is three campfire. Some holies. Um, three campfires after this, so we're good. Yeah, honestly, I think it's worth taking the eight for a chance at being able to feed. So just play a strike. Um, yeah, you can play. Yeah, yeah, play the other strike just to put it like real close to lethal, and then defend. Well, we got the shrug it off. Damn it. <laughs> Well, Bash Strike. Well, Bash is lethal already. Yeah. Well, that that's nice with the uh, Bloody Idol. Shockwave is pretty strong. Like, being able to get weak and vulnerable on everything is nice. I think it's I worth like taking. Shockwave. Yeah, I think that's yeah. worth taking. I like Shockwave. Ooh. Oh. Shuriken's pretty sweet. Especially with Limit Break. Yeah, going for that. We've getting we're getting some exceptionally good relics this run. Uh, upgrade the limit break, I think. My uh, bit rate's a little rough. What? How much health are we at right now? Uh, forty six. Forty six. Okay. Yeah, we're we're fine. Okay, so the thing with this fight is you want to kill the the warrior first because he blocks, he puts block on the the priest, and the priest heals. So like it's it's actually pretty difficult to kill the priest first, unless you've got like a a straight up kill. You want to go for the the centurion first. Um, so I think shrug it off first. Let's see what we draw. Oh, we play battle trance first. My bad. Yeah. Uh, so I think shock wave and then. Uh, whirlwind maybe, or uh, or just the defend. Shock wave. Playing that in a way. I think uh, the I think the whirlwind because you want to get it to the point where the uh, the priest wants to heal rather than attack you to reduce the incoming damage, and this does twelve to everyone, so that's gonna be good. It also like. Gives us a good chance that we might be able to just one shot the uh, the healer. Yeah. No, we can't play that one. We're doing. Yeah. Armaments the metallicize seems good. Yeah. And then defend strike. Nice.
We would like to feed for sure. We do have two enemies to do it on, which is nice. I don't think it's worth wasting the impervious to block two damage, mm. so I would yeah. just strike, strike. I, I wish we could that feed exhausts, here, but yeah. not going to be able to just yet. Uh, the cleave is better damage oh, for the one energy. Actually. We could whirlwind. We could have whirlwind it. it um, yeah, yeah. I could have done it the rip. first turn, yeah. Yeah, because it is 30 to whirlwind cleave. That's unfortunate. We've got <laughs> 8 block. Oh, no, we, we could sword around cleave whirlwinds. Uh, it depends on where the sword boomerang hits go. You, they would have to all go on the on the the night. I like coin flipping as much as the next. So the defend gets you to eleven block, and then we take uh, three, which is not so bad. I don't know, I guess defend, so, cleave, whirlwind, or just cleave, whirlwind, either one is fine. Uh, so if you sword boomerang whirlwind, you do get a strength off the shuriken. So that is one thing to consider. And if we get really lucky, we can kill the centurion if you sword boomerang. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Sword boomerang? Yep. Well, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Uh, it's just whirlwind, I guess. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, yeah. We'll get an extra strength out of it, and then um, after the heal, we'll be a little closer to lethal here. Look, nice of you to show up there, demon form. The coin instead, you know, like it happens. <laughs> um, metallicized demon form. We take three and get our scaling going. I would like a Sneko Eye in this deck quite a bit. Okay, so that that is sense. lethal on the Centurion. The healer goes to three. Let's see what we get off the Battle Trance real quick. Okay, so play the Whirlwind. Um, and then what we're wanting is the feed. But we can block the uh, the healer quite well. Just pass. Uh, limit break <sighs> and feed. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, just like that, we're half up. I don't think you need any of this really. I'll just take the max HP. Yeah. Another battle trance is pretty Ooh. nice. That's going to draw us to our, like, because we have the limit break in deck, we, like, card draw is so good because the faster you cycle through the deck to get those to repeat, the quicker our clock is. I think taking another battle trance is definitely worth it. Yeah. And if you draw both of them, playing one of them is still pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, okay, let's see, we probably want to upgrade. Uh, we already upgraded the limit break, um, so we could upgrade the demon form now. Is a yes from me. Wait, what's up with this drawing limit break when we have no strength <laughs> bullshit, dude? <laughs> Ooh. We could... We could wild strike feed, but then we'll then get the vulnerable. Yeah, from this. And you like the defense. So wild strike the feed and double metallicize... We take 11. Wait, so Wild Strike's hitting for 12, uh, 12 and then the feed is for 10, 10 so that is lethal. Wild Strike feed, you take 6, but mitigate 6, right? Right, it goes up to 18, yeah. which we were taking yeah. anyway, and then we can double metallicize yeah. and take 11. Yeah, that seems like the right play. Uh, so sorry, what was that? Wild Strike and then Wild feed on the feed rat, the right and then double metallicize. You know all the names, so I'm just out here, it's just like, you know, the lad on the right, the lad on the left. 
I don't really like playing the demon form and taking 18, unfortunately, but we don't have... Well, I mean, we have the shockwave to get weak down. You could play the skill potion, yeah. Yeah. We might want to save that for our boss, though. That's Who's the axe boss thinking. again? I forget. Uh, the champ. champ. Well, we have demon it's form for that, which is going to be Jones, really strong. Uh, um, we're taking... So this will go to 12, and we're blocking for 7 off the Metallicide, so we take 5. I don't think it's worth spending a potion to save 5 health. So yeah, I think Shockwave, Whirlwind. Shrug it off. So we're already full blocking. And then just, yeah, play yeah. the Sword Boomerang. Oh. Doesn't do anything, unfortunately. <laughs> The armaments battle class. Armament, well, you can armament the metallic size now. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so fill blocking there. And then whirlwind. It's whirlwind, yeah. Uh, shrug demon it off form. demon form, I think. These metallicizes have blocked for a lot of damage this run. <laughs> Battle Trance, I think. Yeah. yeah. I'd probably armaments the Wild Strike or the Sword Boomerang. Actually, armaments the Sword Boomerang, but play the Wild Strike first to get the block away so that we can remove as much of the plated armor as possible. Because this will be, it'll upgrade it to four hits. So now we get we get to reduce um like all four of those hits are gonna reduce the plated armor. Limit Break Whirlwind just kills, I think. Yeah, more than kills. <laughs> I think max HP is a pretty easy choice here. Yep. And here as well. Same again. Any question mark? So yeah. Is Clash? Oh, Clash, uh, I mean, strong argument for the worst card in the game. It's pretty fucking terrible. <laughs> like, worse than Sentinel? I think so. Clash is just... Clash is... There's just, like, so many situations where it's completely unplayable. I think... I mean, I think you can just probably metallicize and take another... Uh, or, like, sorry, like, a metallicized card removal. Seems pretty good. Just take a strike out. Goodbye, strike. Um... Going up against the champ. I'm trying to think if these would be helpful. Probably not. None of those would be super great there. Enlightenment? Like, if we have. Well, no, we don't have enough money for Enlightenment. Never mind. I was going to say if we can get it with Demon Form, it's really nice. Um, I don't know if any of those potions are good enough to spend money on. No, I don't think If so. we still had more elites, the Thorns Potion for Book of Stabbing would be nice, but I think we mm -hmm. just probably saved the money. Okay. How much health are we at? Sorry, the like resolutions. 60, oh, Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Let's. What are we upgrading? If we upgrade, let's look at the deck. So we could upgrade another metallicize. We could upgrade the battle trance. Um. I think if we upgrade another metallicize, we don't take more than sixty-four damage in this fight. We're just going to kind of slow play it and let the demon form go nuts before we put him under half health and he buffs himself. Yeah. Hopefully we're just, like, killing him from half health with a big whirlwind. Oh, Limit break, you know. need to fuck off to the bottom of the deck, you asshole. <laughs> uh, Metallicize defend whirlwind seems pretty no-brainer mm -hmm. here. see the battle tr well yeah shrug oh, it off first because oh, yeah. you can't draw more cards after you battle trance uh, um i think you just have to play the form. demon form yep uh, that's our win con in this fight now we just chill and block um just play like every metallicize you see and we're just gonna wait until we can whirlwind for lethal basically 
Well, you could have defended there and full blocked. It's all right though. Oh, okay. I missed it. That's fine though. Hey. Uh, I guess just bash whirlwind. We can as long as we don't put him under two ten, he's not gonna buff himself. So you might as well do. Yeah, that's slightly better. Yes. Now the dream is defeat on this guy. I guess armaments might as well upgrade the feed. Just make it a little bit closer to lethal. It's not gonna make almost any difference, <laughs> but very, very slightly, you're right. yeah. A defend. defend gets us to a full block, so you just defend strike. Definitely limit break. Okay. I love that with an exhaust. Um, how much is hey. so that would be seventy five, which would put him to not under two ten. So you can just whirlwind now. Hey, wild or strike. the thing I don't actually yeah, want a wild strike because we're gonna put a wound in the deck and all of our cards are gonna start hitting true. for a lot. You could it's cleave, so cleave so whirlwind. Like three more damage, right? yeah. yeah, cleave whirlwind. The yeah. thing about wild strike, like as demon form becomes more and more impactful, the how good the attack card is becomes less and less important. Let's see, shrug it off. So we're looking to never put him below two hundred. Right, we want to kill him yeah. without him ever getting a turn below 210, basically. Yeah. Uh, well, so we want to put him below 210 and then feed off of him, ideally, but if we can't get it, it's okay. Well, we can't battle Trent again, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> you could uh, bash to get vulnerable on him, and then maybe shit. next turn we can wall run. Oh, no, that's way too much damage. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll definitely do too much. You got Shockwave there? It's more vulnerable. And. Um, well, we're the thing about Shockwave is if we're putting him close to dead and then trying to get like another turn or something to feed on him, the Shockwave, like the weak, is going to be more useful then. Yeah, like we're the, the Shockwave isn't doing much right now because we're already very good at full blocking whatever he's doing right now. Okay, we're just passing. Yeah, I'm guessing there's nothing they actually do here. Yes, we're looking for limit break again. Yes. <laughs> How much is Whirlwind actually hitting for right now? It should be 40, 40. so that's 160. Let me see what's in the draw pile. There it is. So the feed is I in there, and the battle. Tr there's two battle trances in there. We could go ahead and play the Whirlwind. He's going to take a turn to cleanse and buff himself, so we get one card draw off of that. I think the chances that we see the... Like, if we go ahead and Whirlwind now... We can, with this much strength, we can kind of kill him whenever, and this puts yeah. us a lot closer to being able to feed. So, so, uh, so, so he's very close to dead off of this, because this. What's that? Wait. This is oh, going to kill. Oh, no. Because of vulnerable. Yes, but yeah. because of his 25 block, it won't quite kill. Yeah, it should be okay. Right. And then he heals the half the enemy. No, he doesn't heal himself. He just cleanses his debuffs and buffs himself. That's the oh. time eater that heals itself. Okay. Well, there's the feed, nice, and that's already lethal. Just lethal. So. <laughs> Easy life, boys. Nice. I mean, <laughs> I th I do have like barricades. barricades? We do have, you know, metallicize and barricades. Um, you know, this is. I don't think this is a judgment call. I think one is right and one is wrong. I just don't know which is which. So. I actually think that they are both pretty good. The two directions this takes our deck in, if we take another limit break, we're kind of saying we don't give a shit about our blocking, and we're just trying to kill everything as fast as possible. If we take the barricade, we're trying to slow play with demon form a little bit more, and let the impervious and the metallicizes protect us. Um, if, we, if we do that with barricade, we have like a bunch of clunky turns, right? There's definitely clunky turns, like if especially if we draw barricade and demon form in the same turn. Yeah. I don't like that very much. If what's Nick I be all over this barricade? Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Hey. Well, there's a decent chance we're taking cool. another energy relic or a Sneko Eye on this boss relic. And you can upgrade the barricade to make it cost two. 
But the limit mm. break also just like kills everything. So that's pretty good too. I think I like the limit break slightly more because we our block cards aren't amazing other than the impervious. So mm-hmm. like barricade only helps you on turns that you're over blocking. And I don't know how many of those we have in Act 3, you know? The Limit Break yeah, is going to be really good against the Act 3 Elites. It's going to be really good against our final boss. And it's going to be really good against, like, the uh, the Transient one where you have to, like, it, its damage goes up. But when you hit it, its damage, like, goes back down that turn. Oh, God, yeah. Limit Break's going to be great too, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I like the Limit Break. break. Yeah. Now we could just be really upset every time you double draw it in our opening hand. Okay. Okay, we didn't get Snake Light. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, Philo Stone and Mark of Pain are both good. Um, with So we go up to 30 cards off the Mark of Pain, and two of them are, are Wounds, which I think is fine. We don't have any Curses in the deck. Any Mark of Pain? Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards the Mark of Pain. Okay. Five Energy is going to be very nice with the Demon Form in the deck. Don't do Deca. Whirlwinds are going to be great there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's have a look. We don't have that much money. Are you thinking of... Do you think we could take the left path and go for the... Go, go for away? all three elites? This deck's pretty <laughs> damn strong. We can. I think we can take we, them. We do have two bonfires before this third elite. Yeah. Um, we do have to take four no hallway shot. fights before it, though, is the problem. Um, yeah, there's no shops either, unless we go this way. Yeah, which is fine. Mm-hmm. We lose out on a campfire that way, though. Uh, so if you go up the middle, it's two fights, a shop, two question marks, and there's an elite, and then we can get a second elite. I think that's fine. Two elites here is pretty good. Like our relics are already quite strong. I'd go up that middle path there and go through the shop. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Well, I mean, armaments to upgrade the limit break, I guess, and then metallicize, and then whirlwind, and fucking cry. God damn it. (laughs) You would think that we had bottled this limit break, I swear to god. I'm so mad right now. Uh, Demon form impervious. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Let's Metallicize, see. Metallicize. Double metallic. Yeah, we well, you, yeah, just probably. play everything. <laughs> I Take play six. Energy. Yeah, I am not used to playing five mana. I like. I pretty much always just like chill at four. The the upgrade from three to four is much more impactful than the upgrade from four to five. Generally speaking, uh, mm-hmm. whirlwind is lethal. Unfortunately, can we? Let's see. Wild Strike is for 18, so he'll go to 44. And then 32 off the strike. And then... Yeah, we can't quite feed this turn. Um, so you could... If you double defend, you take 4. Which I think is okay. We're going to be healing most of that. I think, I think double defend, Wild Strike, and Strike. And then we try to get back to feeding again before we move on. We can just kind of kill whenever because of demon form. A wild strike, yeah. Yeah. A... Uh, strike. Strike, yeah. Then... Metallicize and shockwave. Well, let's shrug, let's shrug it off before we play the shockwave, I guess. Just see what we get. Let's play the shockwave. Shock and then uh so cleave actually cleave becomes lethal i don't think we can play yeah, that I yeah we should have we should have cleaved first you're right i went too fast yeah i don't it probably doesn't really like quantifiably change our clock at all where's the battle sure. trance feed fuck um, so we've got 27 coming at us. We've got 14 block. So if we armaments, the defend. So we're blocking for 27. So that's a full block. 
Uh, I think the strike the strikes are definitely lethal. We have twenty four strength right now. <laughs> nice. Ah yes. Uh, we can just double defend and full block again. <laughs> Man, the have been really oh my god. Are you kidding me, dude? Uh, wow. Wow. Uh, That's the worst draw we could have ever gotten ever. Well, I guess play the skill. Yeah, go ahead and play the skill potion, see what we get. Oh. Uh, what's. Attack cards. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah, take the second win. Uh, no, no, play the demon. We'll, we'll play the limit break first. I guess actually it doesn't matter, but uh, let's see. We're. Let's see, if we play second wind, we gain 30. We have 30 strength. We, yeah, right? and, yeah, we have so much. Yeah, yeah, just play the second wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play the play the second wind. You right, you right. Okay, that was really skipping for a second. That was <laughs> awful. Shrug it off. We're... We have two in our deck, right? I'm just... Two feeds? No, we just have the one. Wait, is it the bottom card of our deck? It, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Yep. It's there. Uh, play the defense. That gets us to 27, so we take 8, which is okay. We're about to heal a bunch anyway. It's worth it for the feed. Incredible. Wow. <laughs> Just almost fill it. <laughs> yeah, True get plus ain't bad. It's gonna be like we have the two wounds from the mark of pains, and that helps get those out. Um, anger would help us proc shuriken a little bit, but I think we have so many strength sources that we don't necessarily want that. Let's see what our other. Well, no, we've already. We can't see what our other card is. We'd have to skip or take no. the max HP. I think probably the max HP. I don't know that True Grit's good enough to take another card just yet. Like our yeah, our deck would... is. We're wanting to like get through the deck for the limit breaks as fast as possible. <laughs> I think another metallicize is justified to be honest. <laughs> like that's most of our block right there. Oh, almost full heal. <laughs> Back up to 130. My I, I have never had this amount of HP. This is uh this is going pretty solidly. So okay, so the feed on these guys is fucking weird. It only procs if you're feeding on the like if if it causes them to go to where they can regen it doesn't work it has to be killing the one that ends the fight it's very oh. annoying hey to be you could impervious i don't uh... no taken 19 oh we could block take 14 you might want to save the impervious for a scarier turn than this, honestly. Like, we take yeah, 14 we can, if we defend. I think it's worth we can, doing. We heal a lot at the end of every fight. I think we just defend yeah. strike. Yeah. Hey, do you have any preference? Do you go for the lowest? I, gen I generally go for the lowest HP one first. Okay. Just so that they're not attacking for a few turns. We're, we're going to be whirlwinding for a lot to finish this fight off. Mm -hmm. See the battle trance. Ah, limit break. Always limit break before we have strength sources, of course. Uh, armaments, the metallicize. Oh, oh shit, sorry. Well, I guess armaments uh, defend now. Uh, we're blocking 23, we have 45 coming in. I think, yeah, you need to cleave. We need to get some damage down on these guys and at least get some of them out. And there's the demon form finally. Uh, I think okay. shockwave. Let's see if we we take nine if we metallicize. I think the sh well, mm -hmm. maybe the metallicize is better because it's going to help us more on future turns. Metallicize, metallicize, and defend. I think. Uh, let's see, the limit break and then the whirlwind would be for, um, that would be for 56. Yeah, it does mean we can't feed, but... Whirlwind, full block him. Well, whirlwind, if we just play whirlwind right now, we win the fight. Yeah, it's like literally... Yeah, this is kind of a hard fight to feed on, though. I think it's probably better to just finish it. 
Like, it's very awkward to feed on this one. Because you have to, like, kill the other two and then feed on one. Sure. Do <laughs> <laughs> you remember earlier on in Act 1 when I asked how many... <laughs> <laughs> there aren't too many metallic sizes. Max HP. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh. You could also buy the clockwork, uh, whatever it's called. There is the, the fruit potion, gives you plus five more max HP as well. That's another option. The um, the artifact charge would be pretty solid. Like that's going to be nice against um, like the some of the fights here can weaken us and stuff. But it's Donu Deca, and that's not going to be great there. We can we even move over to? Do we get some curses? I can't remember. No, we get two uh, wounds from the Mark of Pain. Oh yeah, what was it? Um. I don't know if the artifact is that good. Metallicize, shrug it off, and um, the fruit juice is pretty good. Do you have another shop? No. Mm, well, there's one at the very cute. end if we want it, but not necessarily. We yeah. can. It, it loses us a campfire to take. I think metallicize, yeah. shrug, and fruit juice. I do not play fruit juice to heal or just whenever. Um, you can generally, like, what I would generally play it would be, like, at the last moment where you have a reason, like, you you don't have a reason to. So, like, we could play it right now, but it wouldn't make that big a difference. But if you wait, there are occasionally think times where that's helpful. For example, there are events that make you give up a percentage of your max HP. And so if you had oh. waited to play your fruit juice that is taking a slightly smaller amount of HP away from you. So there's there's some small little optimizations like that. So like as soon as it's taking up a potion slot you need, or like you need the healing out of it, or um, if you're about to rest at a campfire, you want to go ahead and use it because um, it heals based on percent of max HP. So just okay, delay it until... Uh, sure, okay. why not? Yeah. Okay. I'll, We're probably I'll... not seeing another shop. Yeah. And if we did, like the fifty, probably wouldn't make much Ooh. difference. Oh, we're gonna crush! Uh, we're gonna crush a boss from Act One. Like I always do this. It's, it's oh, generally the best really? option. Really? <gasps> did we bottle limit break, and I just didn't see it? <laughs> well, I'll shrug it off first. Ah, spur wind, I guess. Bash first. Uh, bash, yeah, bash will wind. I'm so salty about this fucking limit break in every <laughs> opening hand. Ah, yes. Incredible. <laughs> ah, yes. Limit break. Come on, demon form. Okay, no, no demon form. Play all the metallicizes, and then uh, probably just, just. Well, we do take three thorns damage off that. Yeah, I don't think you need to. We're just gonna like. Get We're just gonna like full block. One shot him probably, right? Like, I don't think if we play all of our metallicizes, I don't think this guy ever hurts us. So I think you just pass. And we're going to be trying to feed on this guy for sure. <laughs> Twenty. <yeah. laughs> I love this deck. It's so good. Demon oh, form goodness. and another metallicized. <laughs> sure. I think we have six copies of it. A. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. seven. We have seven metallicizes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, I guess armaments the sword boomerang and then yeah, play it in the cleave. Twenty fourteen. It's the battle strength first. The limit breaks, right? Yeah. Um, if you defend and then sword boomerang, we won't take any damage from the thorns, and we'll we want to get him like to the within feed range. You could uh, defend. You could defend strike or defend whirlwind. whirlwind. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. go and play the Whirlwind. That's good. Yeah. Limit break. Sure. Can I actually harder. You can defend back. Yeah, if you had defended first, we wouldn't oh, have taken yeah. that damage. Uh, we're probably going to kill you afterwards. Anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be much of a concern. A Reaper would be so good in this deck. Um, okay, now just... I think we just have to chill until the feed shows up. I mean, we're full blocking already. We're yeah, just, we're literally just waiting until we draw feed. You can't do damage. Like it just. You might as well play the limit break, but off. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, doing damage to us. What is this bullshit? Well, double defend, <laughs> I guess. Two unupgraded defense will uh, take care of that 32 attack. We got Shrug it off to draw some cards with, I guess. Huh. I'm sensing a feed on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Oh, look at that! There it is! <laughs> He's 28 and it's a full defense. Yeah. <laughs> One of those sure. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, Fossilized Helix is Ooh, really nice. Like... This is some of the best relics I've ever seen in a run. <laughs> well, it's hard not to take the barricade now. Yeah, it might as well. I just like the one that doesn't lose us any HP. There's not that many good colorless cards. Although, okay, so... We'll take um, the chance to do three, lose 10 HP, but then take... Oh, yeah, I, I, after oh, I said that, I thought of that, yeah, and that would have been I, better. As soon as, as soon as I saw this button, I was like, fuck. Could <laughs> could have taken six max HP for sure. Uh, Chris is actually the best player in this call by far. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, I just found a section six last time on the facts. Fucking skilled player over here, boys. <laughs> hey, yeah, I was gonna take max. Yeah, take max HP for sure. Hey, elite. Yes. Campfire. Giant head. If we get demon form early, is gonna be free, oh, and it's hard to get much earlier than that. Metallicize hey, and just take the damage. Might yeah. as well. Sword Boomerang. Although we do get a buffer charge off the Fossilized Helix, so we actually don't take damage. I actually wish we hadn't used the buffer charge here. Metallicize, Barricade, Defend. We really want to get that Barricade upgraded so that it's not costing us three. Uh, Battle Trance, Metallicize, Impervious, Leave, Whirlwind... I don't think we want to get the wounds in the deck from yeah. the Wild Strike that badly. <laughs> I'm just gonna play a limit break. Uh, oh, oh shit! Rip. Terra, no. please. That's okay. I was pointing to sixty nine block. <laughs> there we go. Sure, first. Oh, I should have played. Yeah, should have played Sugar Elf first. Well, we can armaments one of the metallicizes. Yeah. Let's play. Metallicize and shrug it off. 93. Let's see the battle trance first. Limit break. Whirlwind is for a lot right now. <laughs> All right, so we'll we'll okay. do this. Well, okay, do the defend first, I think. Well, no, Wait, just do the whirlwind. whirlwind. Yeah. We can't quite yeah. get to the point where we're feeding, but the next time it shows up, we'll we'll be feeding for sure. Let's see the shrug it off. Um. Yes. Yeah, and then I think. How much is Cleave hitting for right now? A 60. That'll be too much if we bash Cleave. So, but Cleave's strike is not quite lethal, isn't it? How much health does he have right now? 130 something? 139? So Cleave's strike is not lethal. 133. 
Yeah. I have to make sure we don't play three skills as well, and I stand to kill them with... Yeah, enough. true. I think you can just I mean, cleave... You'll be fine if you just cleave strike. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. No, never mind, never mind. Because no, he's no, taking... No, because no, of um, it's just... giant head, so the more... He takes more damage the more times you hit him that turn. Oh, yeah. right. So we just pass just here. Mm. By the time feed comes around, it's probably going to do about 100 damage. <laughs> Uh, just... And then shockwave. All right, feed. Hurry up. <laughs> Armaments the defend, I suppose. I'll see the defend. Uh, not a rush. You have 126, honestly. Like... Yeah, I, just... <laughs> I think 126 strength is going to be enough. Oh, head. I wish I knew the answer to your question. Why are we still here? We are going to take some damage here, but I think we're okay. Like nine? Oh yeah, we can still heal. There's here the feed. For 142! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Regal Pillow, sure. That's necessary. Uh, go ahead and drink the, the health of the fruit Ooh. juice. And then take that. Take that. Another Shrug It Off is not bad. That's uh, Shrug It Off Plus is quite a strong block card, as is more yeah, max HP. Uh, double, double Tap's tap. not very good. It's like you I could just of, like how limit break scales. By the time Double Tap useful, one attack likely kills anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like we don't care what attacks we're playing. We just care that like we've let limit break or, or uh, strength scaling go crazy. I think. Um... Just play everything but the feed and put the strikes on the guy in the middle. You know, uh, well, I don't think it's worth spending a potion for. I was going to say we could um, take the attack potion and then feed on the the guy in the middle, but I don't think that's worth it. Okay, so if we Whirlwind, we take out the middle guy before he explodes, but we also take a lot of Thorns damage, which sucks. Mm -hmm. um, we could... If we could we defend, will. defend Whirlwind. Yeah, I think double mm -hmm. defend and then Whirlwind, so we take out the middle guy. We'll still take a decent bit of damage here, but, you know, we have a lot of health. Yeah. And we are healing for a lot after we each fight, which is nice. When we're still at 110, I think we're doing pretty alright here. <laughs> so Shockwave doesn't actually help against the big guy because he's got oh, the three yeah. artifact charges. Course. Unfortunately, both of these attacks make us take rough. a lot of damage. Um, you could spend the attack potion, just see what we get. Like we're likely to get sure. another another uh, potion pretty soon here. Um, Is this cost you this turn? Yeah, I don't hate bludgeon on the big guy. Uh, yeah, it kills him. Bludgeon on the spike person. Yeah, we take 6, and then we take 22 that we block 9 of, so we take 13 that way. So we'll take 19 total if we play that round that way. I think that's fine. Or we could, uh, we could have taken the Fiend Fire as well, but I think this is fine. Yeah, just do that. And then you can uh, Sword Boomerang Whirlwind now. You know, we added seven metallicizes in our deck. I don't know why we're ever surprised to draw metallicize. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, might as well. It's just one strength, but hey, now it's two strength. You told me the zero cost cards. Yeah. Oh, look at these metallicizes we drew. <laughs> Do you have barbecue? No, we don't. Uh, I mean, we have it in the deck, but it's not active right now. Yeah. Uh, sure. What? It's a full defend without so. Ah, finally. Uh... 
I like how we are so consistently seeing both of our limit breaks before the demon form. <laughs> oh, That's actually quite impressive. Like, honestly, like almost always. Is that just lethal? Because it's 31. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yes, it is. That's uh, a max that's HP if I've ever seen it. Uh, yep. <laughs> As is that. Hey, anything. Right, we're going along the left hand Ooh. path there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Impervious, oh, no, Metallicize <laughs> Plus, or Whirlwind Plus. Mmm. Uh, I think you just always lose Whirlwind plus here, the Metallicite, especially the seventh one is probably too important to lose. If it was a regular Metallicite instead of a plus, I'd be a lot more willing to let it go. Um, there is a Squishies. decent argument for the Impervious. How many although, does it take? How many it takes? Um, I think, yeah, I'll probably lose the Whirlwind. We have a second one. It's pretty alright to lose, I think. Although, so, the thing about having two of them is it's really nice against Reptomancer, but we do have the Cleave as well. I don't really care that much about that. Like, we're always going to probably want to upgrade Metallicizes. I mean, we'll still take yeah. it. We're not... Sure. We haven't been taking the other keys, so we're not going for the heart here. Um, so, the, the Limit Break upgrade or the Barricade upgrade are both very good here. Um... I think it's fine. We already have one barricade, right? Barricade will cost it too and make it just like less clunky to play. We've got yeah. It yeah, I think that's, barricade. That's probably good. good. Especially if all these metal sizes we're getting. I mean, we also sort of create limit break here. <laughs> um, Flame barrier is nice. The dupli oh the duplication pot like we can dupe the do it the demon form Ooh. that's gonna like oh. body Donu Deca yeah I would buy that. Man, we're still gonna be so sad when we see those limit breaks first anyway. Oh, it's gonna be so yeah, nice. Well, I mean, <laughs> duplicating a limit break isn't too bad either. Uh, yeah, that's weird. And we just upgrade the limit break again. Yeah, I think so. Metallicize Shrug. <laughs> Don't know why I expected actually. <laughs> um, uh, sixteen, and then. I think you want a whirlwind because. I think I think whirlwind's fine. Any, does that trigger the proc? I can't remember. Yeah, it will. So we'll the, we'll Cleef fossilize Cleef Helix the first one. Cleave whirlwind, yeah. Yeah. We're healing a lot, and we have billions of health. We're fine. Ah, yes, the other one. Ah, oh, thank God, we drew the li <laughs> drew the limit break. There you go. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that was actually. Like <laughs> yeah, no, that, 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 I was I was that, actually going to say the that, 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 the letter <laughs> opener is uh, pretty good here. Dave's been trying to tell us something this entire time. I was just playing the strength thing for memes. <laughs> uh, I think you just pass. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, strike the front guy, but um, I wouldn't bother with the sword boomerang. Just wait until we have a way to block the the thorns damage. Do we eight now? Right? Oh shush! I need to stop doing that. <laughs> it's fine though. Sure. Um, barricade we're demon just form. To feed, aren't we? Yeah, just barricade and demon form. There you go. Nice. Oh God. Well, I mean, okay. So here's the thing. That does quite like. Okay, so that significantly increases the chances that we're seeing one quickly um with a 33 card deck like there's quite a few fights where we're not seeing one for 
like six turns. Whereas having a second one, even though it's a bit redundant, means that the chances we see one in like the first turn or two is up quite a bit. And we just, you know, we just don't have to play it the second time. Yeah, I actually would take it. This is max HP though. Yeah. Like some clunky hands when we have 141 max HP is like, it's pretty all right. Um, so I would play the metallicize because the whirlwind for oh, yeah. three still kills the outer dagger, and then we only need to do one to the other one to to finish it off. Is this one new? I don't think I've faced this one since I started playing again. Uh, it's I wouldn't say it's new, but it's the newest of the like Holy elites. Damage. So strike the one at one HP, and then I think the uh, I think the metallicizes and the shrug probably yeah. The barricade would be nice, but like we're not necessarily blocking like over blocking by that much in this fight because she hits so hard. Awesome. We have two fucking demon forms in this deck, and we still can't see it before our limit breaks. You'd rather draw limit break there than demon form, right? Because even if that was demon form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like it's a waste to draw it now, you know. Um, let's see. Let's let's play the battle trance. Nice. Well, we'll play the demon form plus, and then the. We might play the shockwave because that's a lot of damage coming in. Yeah, I think you want a shockwave. This is a lot of damage, but it's our last elite as well. We can rest before the campfire if we need to. Uh, metallicize. We'll shrug it. Shrug it up. Metallicize again. And strike, strike. And the full blocking. This is like my worst elite. This elite is elite. this is the hardest elite in the game. It's like pretty clear cut in my opinion. She's absolutely monstrous. There's so many runs where it's like this this deck cannot lose to the final boss, but it can lose to Raptomancer. I bash bash wild strike, yeah. Oh, and then, uh, oh yeah, sorry. I thought we had two energy for some reason. Now we're trying to whittle her down and then feed. Sword boomerang. If we're lucky, we kill the dagger. It's unfortunate. Well, you can just strike, strike. it. Yeah. And then bash the, the big one. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of damage. So we block for 29? Yeah, definitely do that. Is it just lethal? So we could get lethal, but I think we want to wait for feed. Even if you're going to take, like, uh, how much are we metallicizing for right now? 24. So we can go to 29 with a defend. So we'll take 5, which is, I think, fine. No, I know. as I thought. Sure. So we take three more with the defend. There's the feed finally. Ooh, Ooh. calipers, Ooh. nice. <laughs> that makes the. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what to do. Hey, uh, you think? I think we want to go ahead and rest now. Yeah. We've got the important upgrades, and let's take advantage of our ridiculous health pool here. <laughs> Alright, so we want to duplication pot the first demon form we see, I think. In the meantime, we just play all of our billion metallicizes. Okay, good. So, okay... 
Just Here's easily. the thing, though. That is the demon form and not a demon form plus. So let's play the battle trance first. The battle trance plus. We draw one extra card. Okay, we didn't see the other demon form. You could wait for the demon form plus. Oh, yeah, armaments it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, armaments it. No, duplication potion. And then the metallicize, I think. Um, you could play the distilled chaos as well. Like, this is our last fight. We might as well use our potions. Nice. Nice. Oh, no. Guess not. Oh, can we play six cards a turn? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, then. There's the other demon form. Just do it. And then uh, shrug it off. Ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, you, you're definitely going to metallicize, but I just wanted to see what you draw off the, the shrug it off first. We have so much health that this just, like, almost doesn't matter. I've been in worse spots. I won't lie to you. Um... I couldn't be further away from the quiet. <laughs> so, do you actually. You get an oh, achievement if yeah. you feed to kill Donu, by the way. Do you want to get it? Oh, shit. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, so don't play the feed yet. This is like a. This is a pretty free way to get that achievement. I did not have that achievement. <laughs> so, let's actually go for the left hand one first, I guess. For this dude? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or, well, how much is Cleave and Strike hitting for right now? Okay, yeah. So we could just kill Donu with the feed this turn. Could we? Yeah, because Cleave, Strike, Feed is lethal. And actually, you can play everything here. Just play the feed last. Oh, Donu. <laughs> Congratulations on the uh, achievement. Nice. I didn't know that was uh, Turtle up a little bit more, so I'm not sure we've got this one yet. No, I haven't made to play this week. I mean, this this deck could win Ascension 20 pretty handily, so uh, I think we're pretty I, safe I on... We need, to, sure. we need to play the week. Oh, uh, and I should... Yeah, I think... <laughs> Sword Boomerang is incredibly <laughs> lethal right now. Yeah. I think we're under a little yeah. bit. Can you battle trance as well? Like... Yeah, uh, again. Uh, yeah, I think you should wait for another limit break or two first. Yeah, I think you can just uh, Okay, okay, let's do is that. Is there an achievement for 999 strength? I don't know, let's find out. There, there is one from 999 <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think we can get that one, unfortunately. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm fairly no. sure. Ah, there we go. <laughs> we can go deeper. I want 999 strength. I want 999 strength. We only need two more limit breaks and we'll be there. And then I want to finish it off with a whirlwind, by the way. I think only one of the whirlwinds goes off, though, right? Yeah, probably. Oh, there we go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I mean, we still just casually have 167 block on top of this. This is yeah. so stupid. <laughs> the wild strike is hitting for a thousand damage. <laughs> We can't even get vulnerable down because the bash would just like kill him ten times over already. <laughs> the thing is, I'm very tempted to go for like the one thousand, the nine 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 block and get the achievement for that. I mean, you I could just keep. It... Uh, he, he exponentially like keeps scaling. Over. No, it's uh, Donu is the one that raises your strength, so it actually doesn't. This one actually doesn't scale. Uh, what happens if you play limit break now? It's caps okay. out, unfortunately. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going to make The more we block, we might actually accidentally kill him with letter opener, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Actually, you can only play like. Oh, all right, we're gonna have to be careful with how we manage block towards the end. Oh, so that strength keep comes up. So they might get eventually. No, no, no. No, that strength is all from uh, Donu. Oh, right. Donu raise the strength, so the maximum he's gonna do is 38 damage to us over and over again. Very nice. If only there was a limit break for your block. Wait, there literally is actually. There's entrench. That's a that's a card. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's uh, it's not the worst deck I've ever seen. Mm. We should have put more block cards in the deck, anticipating that we would be trying to farm for the 999 block <laughs> achievement. I'm just waiting until I misclick and I accidentally use a strike on him or something. <laughs> you strike for a thousand damage. <laughs> Maybe we should have went for the, the flaming elite. <laughs> oh, this, this deck could murder the heart. It wouldn't even be a problem. Too bad we don't have Body Slam in this deck. Oh my god. Okay, we're getting there. Almost halfway. Do you not already have this achievement from uh, the Defect? No, I don't. Okay, I, I find... I, there was one, one time I was close to it, but I forgot about the achievement. Okay, that's the easiest one to get it on, I think. If you just get like a ridiculous Frost deck and Calipers, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to farm the 999 block achievement. You shrug it off, so we're doing some work. Come on, halfway there. It didn't take too long, actually. Whoa, we're halfway there. <laughs> wow, we're living on a prayer. We are definitely not living on a prayer right now. <laughs> yeah. I think we're safe. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. I think there's an outside chance we've got this one in the bag, but it's hard to know for sure, I guess, until the final blow comes down. <laughs> this is definitely playing with your food. Can you imagine how offended Donu is right now? Well, Donu's dead. Deka, on the other hand. Deka is just sitting there watching a man defend over and over and over again in front of him. <laughs> this is bad the BM is real here. <laughs> Like, what's going on right now is uh, Donu is, like, raging in chat trying to say, just forfeit, dude, and Deka's like, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, as soon as, the, as soon as the forfeit timer comes up, Deka, or Donu is just, like, immediately FFing, and Deka's like, no, we've still got this. Just play it out. Yeah, and meanwhile, we're just the equivalent of, you know, all three inhibs are down. We've got, like, Nexus Baron buff and every dragon. And then we're just in their jungle farming their camps to let them, like, farm the inhibitor minions. And the inhibitor minions are worth zero gold. What's up, Guru? That's a thousand <laughs> name now. <laughs> Game changer! <laughs> You better screenshot yourself with 999 strength and 999 block. I most uh, certainly you will. This and sending it to <laughs> nice <one>. <laughs> This is one of the most ridiculous sets of relics I've ever seen as well, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Like, Fossilized Helix isn't even one of the best relics we have right now. <laughs> Too bad armor mates can't upgrade itself. Okay, we're almost there. This is ridiculous. I've never had a build like this. This is one of the strongest decks I've ever seen. This is insane. Like, if we... Uh, I've played two games of Slate the Spider with Roos around, and I've both times got like the most absurd, obscene deck ever. 
Oh, we're nearly there. Next turn. Not quite. Well, there's the 999. <laughs> Wait, I want a screenshot with it. There we go. You should like hold up the whirlwind, like hold the whirlwind up and then screenshot it with it showing deal a thousand seven damage five times. Cheers. All right. All right. Good game, boys. It's been a pleasure. Wow. The old 5,035 point whirlwind. <laughs> Sometimes you just throw a whirlwind out and uh, it does 5,000 damage. I mean, the heart has 800 health, so. <laughs> you know, sometimes you need that extra 4,200, though. This actually still wouldn't one shot the heart, though, because it maxes out at 200 damage taken per turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, that was a good run. Yeah. So that was something. Definitely an above average run. I would say so. I think we did all right.